Well, hi there, everybody, and good morning to you. Uh, my hair's a little wet and matted right now. Just came in from outside uh, during our morning show here, so it's snowing pretty good out there right now, and that's been the biggest story of the day uh, this morning, the snow that is currently falling. Now, western Nebraska, you're already clearing out, but central Nebraska right now is in the heaviest of the snow, uh, making its way through again. This is being recorded just after 7 o'clock in the morning. In eastern Nebraska, you'll get in on it in the next hour or so, and it will continue through the morning hours and probably get heavier in eastern Nebraska. Snowfall rates one to two inches an hour, and so that's where we're expecting the higher total. So again, winter weather advisories, one to three inches of snowfall will continue through this morning or this afternoon in eastern portions of Nebraska. They're three o'clock, and then this storm gets really gets going off to our eastern portions of Iowa and Minnesota where blizzard warnings are in effect. So looking at your future cast, again, eight o'clock this morning, snowing still in central Nebraska, heavier snow starting to develop out towards the east, dry out west as skies are starting to clear out, cool, windy conditions, and then that snow, again, it really picks up. Nine o'clock in eastern Nebraska, Nebraska and through the noon hour you're looking at some pretty heavy snow by noon we're, we're clearing things out here in central Nebraska it's just cool and windy in fact it will be windier this afternoon than what we have out there this morning so again the morning hours that's your biggest concern the afternoon a couple of flurries or sprinkles otherwise partly cloudy skies but again winds gusting up to 45 50 miles per hour tonight chilly breezy conditions mostly clear skies should be very quiet out there but again winds about 10 to 15 miles per hour Tomorrow, another windy day, not as bad as today, but still could see those winds sustained up to around 30 miles per hour, gust to as high as 35 to 40 miles per hour. It's not quite as bad as today, but still quite windy out there. And a milder day, going to be a little more spring-like, 50s to the south of that front, 40s to the north of that frontal boundary, but winter weather will return for the weekend and much of next week as we wrap up the month of February. In fact, we'll see even colder air uh, move in. So again, also mentioning the wind, once that wind chill advisory comes, or winter, excuse me, the uh, winter weather advisory comes to an end, wind advisories will be in place until 6 o'clock this evening, statewide in northern Kansas for those gusts up to 50 miles per hour. So again, strong winds. Now, temperature-wise, we do rebound a little bit thanks to that sun this afternoon into the mid and upper 30s lower to mid 40s across the entire area but again the winds are going to be the biggest issue and it's going to make it feel colder again you see maybe just a couple of flurries or sprinkles this afternoon snow lasting a little bit longer it could mix back with rain in eastern portions of the viewing area your extended forecast nicer tomorrow although quite windy will go 52 mainly sunny conditions and then 39 for your saturday which is pretty close to average Chance, chance of snow comes in for Saturday night, especially out towards the west, will continue into the day on Sunday. It doesn't look too significant, but could drop some light accumulations. Slight chance Sunday night, a little bit better chance on Monday, and then wrapping up Monday night as we'll drop back into the low and mid-30s for highs Sunday and Monday, and those lows getting down into the teens, so getting a little bit colder. And again, not going to be overly pleasant in the early next week, but at least we get rid of the snow chances Tuesday into Wednesday. But it looks like more cold air could be on the uh, way as we get towards the end of next week. We could get a pretty good shot of cold air coming in for that last day of uh, February. So something to watch for beyond our seven-day forecast. So again, this morning, those are the biggest concerns with the visibility restrictions and some accumulating snowfall. Again, around an inch in the Tri-Cities, but we could see upwards of three inches in eastern portions of Nebraska. So that is your forecast. Take it easy out there for today. We'll see you on what will be a whole lot better day out there on your Friday. So until next time, I'm your all just Travis Klineski. Have a great day.